Okay, come on, one more thing to get. Fingers on buzzers. It's the Labour Party conference. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. It's been so exciting that the, the main story that's come out of it is that I read that Ed Miliband, when he was at school, he got given a Walkman by Ken Livingston, which is a story so dull, you wouldn't even tell it on Bullseye. <laughs> Jim Martin went, I believe you once met Ken Livingston, didn't you? He went, yes, he actually gave me a Walkman. Oh. Well, that's very tedious. I hope you lose. <laughs> he's just got no ideas. And all I'm saying is, oh, he spoke for ages without notes. He spoke for ages without saying anything. <laughs> you know, I want to bridge the gap between the rich and the poor. Well, good luck, because you can see it from space now. <laughs> in numbers and I think those siblings should unite David and Ed Miliband they're always pitting them against each other just be as one like Jedward <laughs> they could be they could call themselves like David and and they could <laughs> have some style you know they could wear like Milibandanas and throw back Milibanter and they could really spice it up they all look like people who when they come out of the conference they still leave their little lanyards on when they get into the hotel even though they know. There's a point on the train where they think, oh, I'm not at the conference anymore, I should take this off. And I thought, this will be an interesting conversation starter in the bar. <laughs> so, see, you've got a landlord. Yes, I've been at the Labour Party conference. <laughs> <laughs> take it off, you dick. You're not there anymore. It's like, they, like their festival, like they wear them all year. Like, yeah, I've got all my festivals. Yeah, I went to all the conferences. I'm pretty important. Are you really? You know that's all happened in your head? Yeah. <laughs> That happened. You're so annoyed with a man on a train that you've imagined who's left his badge yeah. on. You just that hasn't this. happened. No, it it's, it's, it's just classic. It's just, it, nobody does that. I do. Nobody's bothered about any. But of all the things to get annoyed about, it's not like. And he didn't take his lemon off. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, just a bastard. <laughs> you left it on. I genuinely believe. Like there's times when you're on a train and you see someone with their little thing hanging out, and you think, "Oh, you want me to ask what that is?" No. It was the same during the Olympics when they all had their caps on and their bags, and they're like, "Yeah, I'm helping make the Olympics happen." Well, well you're on a train now. It's not happening here, is it? Are you having? <laughs> you're having a go at all the Olympic volunteers. That's what John's doing. I'm not having a go at the ones who were volunteers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could you do me a favour? Yes. Could you do me a favour? Could you put away your gold medals? Because yeah, I'm sorry. it's over now and it's yeah. boring John. Yeah. <laughs> because John doesn't like it when people remember nice things they've been to. I don't know. <laughs> there he is, killing joy. <laughs> Gangnam style. <laughs> How are you feeling, Dad? I went to the Paralympics so I had my laminate. And I. Went for a meal. I went for lunch before. Oh, <laughs> you leave it on. Well, the day before I'd forgotten it, so I thought I'll put it on. I'll put my coat over it. That's fine. Took my coat off to eat, and then the guy came over. He said, "Oh, what's that?" And I said, "Oh," <laughs> he said, "What's that?" And I said, "Oh, I'm. I've got to be at the Paralympics." Oh. And he. And he know, said, it's an interesting story. Actually, I've got to be at the Paralympics. Yeah. No, you're right, John. It is annoying. Yeah. So. If he'd taken his laminate off and lost it, he couldn't get in. Yeah. The reason they keep it on is that's how they get in to do get their job. He's... You left it on so that he would ask and you go, sorry, uh, I'm doing a bit of TV work, apparently. It's oh. really boring, but uh, if you could bring the food quickly, it's going to be on TV in like an hour, so uh, anyway. <laughs> Working at the Paralympics, yeah, it's pretty boring. I'm sorry you asked me about it. <laughs> You're a little lanyard and your girlfriend. And, oh. <laughs> That's the real issue. <laughs> People with laminates have relationships. <laughs> yeah, I was just wearing a laminate in a bar. She just came up to me and said, What's that? Oh, God, yeah, I didn't even know that. <laughs> it's really heavy. And when I took my coat off, I thought, Oh, bloody laminate, I'll leave it on. <laughs> What's that? It's just a laminate that points down at my penis. I've got a penis. Maybe you want to touch it and be my boy. <laughs> Can see whether the Labour Party conference is one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs>